Hey everyone, it's Ariel, and we're back to another episode of Ariolan's Heart Rate Gaming. We're back to Idle Heroes with the new event, which is the Wishing Fountain event. You're gonna have to excuse my crazy hair. It's been raining a lot here, and I took a shower yesterday morning, and it is still damp, so I don't care. <laughs> um, anyway, so my monthly resets tomorrow, woohoo! And Okay, I ended with 2,500 of the grocery items this last time, and I think this time I'm just gonna go all in on the scrolls because of the anniversary event that's supposed to be coming up really soon, so I wanna get as many scrolls as I can before that hits. Um, and then, uh, you know, gold. <laughs> gold is always good, gold is great. Makes me happy. Okay, so. First up, we have the Wishing Fountain, which when you complete, you get lots of profit orbs, which is fantastic. Great place to stock up on profit orbs. And they're giving away eight in this time. And you also get five relics for completing it. And you only need um, 240 coins to complete it because spinning it 10 times uh, only expends eight coins. This is a great event to always, always, always complete because you get lots of cool resources as usual and you want to try to aim for there to be a dark or light four star on the wheel because it's a great way to get more dark and light fodder, especially if you're early um, or free to play. So I've got a dark on my wheel. I'm going to go ahead and spin. I'm going to hope to get that and okie dokie, <laughs> we got it on the first spin. I'll go ahead and spin it a couple more times just because, but um, usually you just want to spin until you get that dark or light fodder and then just just wait and um, wait until you can refresh. Remember, you can refresh the wheel for free every three hours um, and you want to do that as much as you can. Um, okay, so for the shelter, We've actually got a pretty good shelter this time. Uh, we have we have Flame Strike, which uh, she's not great in game, but if you're early to mid game, she's not bad. Uh, especially if you don't have any better fortress heroes, she can um, really dish out some burn damage. So she's pretty cool, especially if you really like Kathuga. She's like an essential pairing with Kathuga. Uh, Kamath, I don't really care for Kamath all that much, and I've never really heard anyone say that they love him. Maybe you do. I don't know. I, he's not, but he's one of those heroes who's not bad, but he's not great. So, I don't know if I would exchange for Kamath. Heart Watcher is fantastic in PvE and in like broken spaces for doing that extra damage with her little mark. It increases every hero's damage, so she's really great for that. But she's kind of something that maybe you would build a uh, later game when you've already got your really uh, stable, awesome team, you know? And then we have Cruise, which I am so stoked for because I need three more copies of Cruise. Cruise is fantastic. If you have the stuff to exchange for Cruise, I highly recommend sheltering for Cruise. He is really, really good. <laughs> so I highly recommend getting Cruise in this shelter. Uh, and then we have Dark Arthen Doll, which she had her rework and she's a bit better now. Um, I still don't really love her, and as always, I usually say sheltering for light and darks is not really worth it, because sacrificing two of those darks or light, even if they're fodder for one specific, like unless you're talking an Aspen or Ada, it's not really worth it. Um, like here, here's a case in point, they have Michelle in the shelter uh, today, and I need one more Michelle in order to 10 star her. But the fact that it takes two light five stars and I still have to make a six star fodder to 10 star her. <sighs> I can't do it. I can't justify it. It's just not worth it. I'll get her elsewhere. Uh, so the only one I could super recommend is Cruise. And I mean, if Flame Strike is the best fortress you've got, I would say go ahead and get her. And then Heart Watcher. 
I mean, if you just have extra stuff or whatever and you want to pick up a copy of her, she's a good hero too. Um, but definitely Cruz. <laughs> uh, okay, so what else? Oh, they, they put, they did add uh, this Valkyrie's uh, Spear of Trial, her new limited skin into the shop and you can also get it from skin fusion so that's cool the downside is they up the cost of it it's not 30 relics it's 40 so that kind of sucks of course there i think that at this from like now on the prices of everything are just gonna kind of like they did in the item collection this hero used to be 2500 consistently and now it's consistently 2600 so that it's just out of your reach and I think they're gonna keep tacking on just that little bit more expense so that it becomes just a little bit more pay to play which is kind of unfortunate when I started this game it was very much free to playable and I really loved it it was really fantastic and now I can see it's slowly escalating. <laughs> that typically happens though. It is to be expected. Um, so yeah, I'm at, I'm up to 710 scrolls. I'm hoping to hit a thousand before the event. Um, we're going to get, I'm going to get some more profit orbs. I'm hoping to double complete the next profit orb event. Um, and I did, I wanted, I wasn't, going to spend my super wishing coins until I until the anniversary event just because you never know when they're going to pop an event that requires those you just never know um, but today I got cruise on the wheel and I really want cruise so I think I'm going to go ahead and spend my super wishing coins trying to get this cruise so everybody say cruise 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 wish me luck here's hoping that i can get him i would really 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 love to get that cruise copy okay well we got some red exclusive and we got um a dark four star and two scrolls i'll take scrolls too i mean this is a good place to get scrolls and profit orbs it's a profit orb and a scroll come on cruise drop come on cruise scroll scroll two scrolls Come on, Cruz. I really, really, really want you for my team. Ooh, that was a good one. Three scrolls and two orbs. Okay, last 10 times. Come on, Cruz. Please. Okay, well, four scrolls and uh, an orb. All right, here we go. Come on, Cruz. <sighs> Come on, please, please. Scroll. Oh man. I think I want it too bad. <laughs> Cruz is a really good hero. I really wish I could get more copies of him. I would really like to have him on my team so badly. Oh, I don't know. I don't think this is going to happen this time. But I figured I better record it just in case it does. Okay. Well, no Cruz. And we didn't even get the orange artifact pieces. That's a bummer, but we got some more scrolls. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got some more scrolls and we got some more orbs. So supplies, supplies. Um, I think that's pretty much all for this event. I mean, this is another one of those events that's pretty straightforward. You wanna complete this, you wanna get even just that green stuff and that gold, especially if you're early game plus the super wishing coins and the orbs that you're gonna get from that is just, you know, that's collection of materials, get that stuff. Plus Aiden, you know, shadow fodder, and then um, the shelter, ever since they bumped it up to include a five-star hero, it's kind of a, only do it if you're wanting to build that hero. But I highly recommend Cruz, for sure. Um, but that is it for this event keep saving up the anniversary event is coming very very soon sometime in the next week or two it keeps changing the day keeps shifting um e5 has 
it keeps shifting too. They, I mean, it was rumored from being anywhere from tonight to within the next week. So if you're to that point where you're ready for E5, your time is about to come. <laughs> that I'm a little scared because I am totally and 100% not ready for e5 whatsoever i'm i'm gonna get destroyed in arena from that month for a while once that drops i'm pretty sure uh but anyway that's just my thoughts on okay, this event so i woke up this morning and they've got the e5 patch already <laughs> Um, I know it had been rumored that it was supposed to drop last night. I guess it just came really late. Um, uh, of course, I am totally not prepared, so I'm not going to be doing any awesome E5 enabling for you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully I'll have some fodder by the time uh, we get to the anniversary event and everything. Uh, but I just wanted to look at um like what what it requires so as they said it's it takes an extra copy of the hero and a 10 star and that's for e4 um and then also e5 so you're looking at two 10 star copies you need to get all the way up there and getting those 10 stars a 10 star hump oh that's that's the hardest um but let's look at what the skills do. So the E4 skill is exactly the same as the E1 skill. Like, ah, if it'll, uh oh, I've lost control. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, so HP 12%, attack 8%, or HP attack and speed. I've lost control again. 12, eight, attack, so it, it's the exact same as E1 and E4, but you like, I mean, you could look at that as a, oh, I was so fit for something amazing, but it is amazing because not only are you going to get the level boost that all those stats will give you, but then you can either increase another 12% HP, 8% attack, or spread it out, like get that speed and stuff. Um, I mean, HP is usually pretty great unless it's a pure attack build. Um, but just getting that extra percent is huge. So that's E4. E5. E5 we have Balanced Strike, which is if the basic attack or active skill crits, you restore your HP by 15%. And if it's not a crit, then you do an extra 30% damage. So this is like a big damage dealing skill like this is pretty great so if you have a big uh critting hero they could just be healing themselves all the time and if they don't crit then it's like ah oh, well here have a mini crit <laughs> so it's pretty cool but then there's this one called unbending will and when you take fatal damage it immunes the hero from direct damage and damage over time or dot damage whatever you want to call it for a round it doesn't immune damage from marks but that is that's pretty huge it 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 basically makes it so that you're gonna survive a whole extra round than what you would have um which sometimes can be the deciding factor because it's, it's a lot of heroes um i mean they heal they heal um at the end of a round and sometimes it can be pretty huge and especially if if their skill also heals them so if they're right at that point where their skill is getting ready to trigger the round ends they heal and then they get their skill off and heal more the fight could last a lot longer with this skill so that's pretty brutal especially when you're talking going up against adas and stuff i'm a little scared of that ability um and apparently they're adding another skill to E3. It says, be available soon. Purify, when a round ends, removes a random negative status effect on the hero. And it's coming soon. So that's neat. Um, I mean, I still kind of like the healing at the end of each round. Because once, once you get to the E3 level, 
your heroes basically have to be self-sustainable or they're just not going to last in any of the battles. Like if you're relying on a healer to keep your heroes going, it usually doesn't go well. <laughs> um, but I mean, removing a negative effect, that's, that's pretty neat. So they're adding that too. Um, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, like I said, I don't have the fodder, but hopefully I'll be able to get there. Also, I'm a retard and turned my two Valks into a six star. That happened like way before we even knew E5 was coming though. And I was just thinking, ooh, two Valkyries. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, that's a look at Eve. So if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See ya!